Greetings everybody, I am the Blue Goblin King and we are back with Judgment Judge him <laughs> So uh now we're off to Oh yeah we've got by the figure for that guy. Oh my bad, my bad, don't kill me. So yeah we're about this, like four... this must be like fourth episode. We're like we're like four hours into the game. Oh okay. We have to go the other way. Alright, cool. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm really fucking enjoying this game. This game is legit. <laughs> but I must have never lost me. Is that what he wants? Oh, a gold plate. Oh, is this for? Oh my days! I can't remember the name. How do I forget the name? Oh, it says there, Shoji. Okay. Challenging him for the Shoji. No, that's a, that's a. Oh, what the, is it? Is it Marshall? Is this for Marshall? And the Soji Interior series, it must be a type I, I honestly don't know. Oh, what's this? That's kind of cool. One of the seven gods of the country. Oh, we're gonna buy that. No, 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 no. Uh, we're gonna buy one. And he wants this. Do I want anything else? <gasps> a Dharma. Yes, we'll buy that. Yes. Thank you. I think this is what Sukuma wanted, but how do you even know a pawn shop would have it? Well, guess I'll make the hand off. Wait, I, I need to check that. Okay, it's not that. <laughs> then I'm not sure what it is. Let's have a look. Let's see what comes up. Oh, it is, it, that is the name of it, Shoji. I bet uh, it's also known as the Japanese chess game. Or the game of generals. Okay. Oh, you can even get tiles that tell you the directions that they can move. Are oh, they quite versatile, aren't they? So obviously that's... Oh, so that's like a knight. I can... Diagonals and one forward. Okay. Alright. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll continue. We're, we're learning. We're learning. Sorry. the amount of stuff that I've seen over the years, I probably have seen it. It, it, it does look familiar, but I don't know. I don't know, it made me think of Marshall first. Obviously, I'm wrong. There we go, idiot. Ow. It's not my fault. Shut up, get out. Boom. What a waste. 
got my money back from the statue. Yeah, change your styles. Oh, am I allowed to change styles now? Oh, that's it. I like that. <laughs> What happens if I hate that? Oh. I'm sure they're just uh, like a balloon thing, aren't they? It should wobble. Is that how they deliver us? Oh, you know what? I've, I've <laughs> okay. I thought. <laughs> I thought the sign was deliver. Uh, the bike had that on the trailer. Could you imagine, could you imagine trailing something like that with a bike? Oh my god. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here we go. Now don't tell me you're, yeah, you're on the home screen. Hey. I bought your goods. It is the one, right? Big old nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the one. Many thanks. How much was it? Nah, it's on me. I'm paying you back for last, I remember. Really? Hey, that's pretty generous of you. No worries. Though wouldn't it have been quicker to go uh... yourself? What can I say? I'm a busy guy. Plus, there was a pre-order about to open up, so it's time to man the battle stations. <laughs> You've always got a reason to stay cooped up, huh? You never change. Nah, I shouldn't say that. You've improved a lot, actually. It's all thanks to you. Yeah, can't miss you. Oh, I was just about to yawn and then suddenly I just... Oh, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that was a big yawn. <laughs> I might never have made a human... Never have made a human... Co oh, co human contact again if it weren't for you reaching yeah. out to me. Yeah, speaking of which... <laughs> finally set foot out of your house. Only to end up hiding away in a net cafe. <laughs> Well, the rent's cheap and the internet's fast. What more could you want in life? Besides, it's a perfect place for an informant to set up base of operations. True, you always have been a big help, that's for sure. Either way, I'm lucky to have <laughs> Right back at you. Hey, our reputation is good. Once you have become friends with someone, you will sometimes receive items from them when you pay them a visit. If you don't get an item, try coming back later. Oh, so you can have like an abundance of friends. Uh, some people in the town have a special icon. In the friendship meter. Alright, cool. Are you allowed to just stay here 24 7? Because there is a pillow. And there's some tip. Right, I don't want to continue that. So, gotta go talk to Shintani. Yeah. Oh, there's a friendship icon. Let's go and see. Them. Who wants to be my friend? Help! So I'm bringing a translator. Mm -hmm. Translator? What's Excuse me. About? Hey, is everything all right? No, it isn't. I don't understand what this guy's saying. Please help, help a girl. Pardon me. But do you happen to know where the lavatory mm. is? I've always been good at basic English. I should take over from here. Hey, always knows where the restroom is. Oh, it's right outside the cafe. English, what would be? Right outside the cafe. You can't miss it. Excellent. Thank you very much. That went pretty well. I hope it wasn't too rusty. I'm sorry about that, sir. The other words really caught me off guard. I always thought I would... it was just toilet in English. Well, at least you know your basics. Sometimes it's hard to determine the best word to say. Yeah, I do like the language, but I haven't been studying for long. Gotcha. So you're sure right now? Yeah, I'm actually in college. I've been thinking of working overseas for a while too, once I graduate anyway. So I decided to start working here to get some 
more speaking practice, alright? You know, since hotels generally have a lot of foreign customers. Not a bad idea. Well, keep it up, and maybe your English will Yes, thank you for today's lesson. Oh, can I ask you then? It's me. Sure. Takayuki Yagami. Kede Sanada. Uh, it was really nice to meet Yay, we're friends. It's kind of, well, keep at it. I will. Hope to see you soon. Uh, next time. I've got 50 SP. Yeah! It's not really hurtful though. If you're gonna go go to another country, you, you should really learn some of their, uh, even if it's just the basic language, like the basic principles, like toilet and food. <laughs> oh, and hotel. Uh, skills. How much do you have? <sighs> Got a thousand. Big bucks. Big bucks. No, we won't do that. We'll do that though. Yeah. Uh, vibrates right before a photo op during photo missions. Also triggers a different type of vibration right before the perfect shot. Ooh. So there's going to be photo missions. All right, cool. Eases the requirements for successfully completing photo positions. Yes, let's do that. And we'll do this. Done. Bye, thank you. Bye. <laughs> In here? Yeah. Here you go. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. <laughs> just sit your ass down, would you? Oh, yeah, I just noticed I kept the English voice actors. Oh, I can't. I really can't be bothered to change it back now. <laughs> and plus, it, it's, it's not too uh, grating on the ears. So. Just got the call from Mafia Kun. Sounds like they're seriously gearing up for this trial. You and Shintani better be ready. Uh, Shintani, okay. So, you finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Okay, okay. Uh, quick search mode is used for examining pieces of evidence. You will get a complete view of the object in question on the left side of the screen during quick search mode. On the right side, you'll see an enlarged view of the area as well as a cursor. Okay, cool. The parts of evidence you can examine will appear in an enlarged view on the right side of the screen. Yep, cool. Press X over it will allow you to examine the area further. Examine your evidence thoroughly and satisfy all objectives in order to complete the investigation. I have to figure out the cause of death first. Hey, well, it's obvious. victim we was a Kansai thug, oh, bottom feeder with the Kyore clan, Toshiro Kume. 
Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. And wow. eyes hurt just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. <laughs> Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes, then tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the cure. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. Alright, done that. What are these? Well, like something's not right if this were the murder. Where is the blood? Suspicious. There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body. Meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. He was just I had to guess. I'd say he died in a moor. Uh, hmm. Next to, I need to figure out how they dispose of the corpse. The rubbish, isn't it? Hey, night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley, around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Uh huh. Come to think of it, where are the victim's possessions? Like a wallet, cell phone. Hmm. Oh. Suspicious. What the? Nothing oh, was found in pocket. Kume's pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. What are these? Or is this just part of the... Okay. Oh. You take a peek in the alley when you were over at a moor? Doubt there's any traces left at this point. But it's apparently just out the back. Hey. So they want us to invest in the investigate that alley as well then? Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> so what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? There's a good chance the murders are the result of a Toja clan versus Kyori clan? Turfo? Is it Kyori? Yep, go on. Alright, this is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. December 3rd, just around 9 o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club. At which point, Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hamura then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hamura kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of Amor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. 
When questioned, Hamura said, Me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. It took them a week to arrest him? So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Guess there's a lot of reasons for them to suspect Hamura. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. Hey, if he really the river. did it, forget about the eyes. <laughs> Concrete shoes You'd never even right. find the body. Agreed. That's uh, Arshintani Sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um... Was that supposed to be a compliment? What? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamra's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamra. A lawyer's job is only to prove reasonable doubt, not the defendant's innocence. To them, the truth is irrelevant. Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kume's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase from the Kyore clan. Uh, I want to hear what he has to say. Hero as well. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. Yeah, Kao doesn't deserve the name of Kira. It's a really good anime. <laughs> He's right. No self-respecting Yakuza would run off and leave his buddy to die. Morrissey must have at least attempted to rescue, but to find out for sure, that would mean... Come on, mean... man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyore clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Morrissey. Huh. You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's a deal, remember? <laughs> deal my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine. <laughs> it's right. We should beat beat them up, and then we take the information from Morisei. Yeah. First things first. We need to find out where the Kyore clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Uh, new evidence and all that, Jarkin. Right. Off to see, um... The Yakuza family. Upstairs. Yes, and 
something that looks like a what? Who are these guys? Huh? You need something, dude? Oh, no, sorry. Another hose. Don't move a hard as well. I've got a recent weapon. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll come back. Right, let's it, it's, it's ignore that actually. Let's this, this, this continue the story. Oh, oh, huh? Oh, it's a side entrance. <laughs> this is how the car park that the homeless guy teaches the main car in Yakuza here. You feel old for being around young people. Okay. I actually thought it broke then. <laughs> Family office. I like how it's just like public knowledge that the gang's here. Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami okay, so that's why he knows visit. where they are. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. Patriarch. Mitsugi. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? <laughs> Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. <laughs> How's Kaito these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. I'd be a very different person, I think. You'd have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. So then, what would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome? <laughs> Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Genda is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Yeah, well, sure I'm you want this. Yeah, I Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Mm-hmm. With fists. <laughs> Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. I can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... They've got a front in the city. The KJ Art Office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJR, eh? I'll check it out. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The QRA are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. 
Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Fight me! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, here we go. You asked for it. Excuse me. <laughs> I win. Really, guys? Don't get scared of me. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> Oh, oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh. Can I jump over the car? Yes, I can. Excuse me. And... Okay. Oh, oh. So I wonder what the front is. <laughs> What's up? Why is he so close hey, to the phone? KJR yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I know it's got R in the title, control. but does it? Look up. Oh yeah, there he is. Hmm. Hey. Days. That shirt's <laughs> that shirt's like a holy I see you. Yeah. Be up in a sec. I heard a cat. Oh my well, points. I know you're here somewhere, where are you? What are you doing? Quit farting around and get over here. <laughs> Alright, how am I gonna get there? Oh god. Yeah, you probably Yo, just see that shirt from space. You, wouldn't you say? Oh, there's someone on the roof over there. Though. Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard with the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? <laughs> uh, sure. Come on, let's try again. I'll fly it this time. Oh, look at the window. What was that going done, in there? Do it yourself, right? Sure, you ass. Oh, you can cast. Oh yeah, because we got the parts, didn't we? And there's a drone race. I need. Okay. Hmm. This here is Marase. Wonder if we can just peek through the windows, see if we can find him. I want to see what's going on downstairs. <laughs> uh, examine areas using drone. While well, putting the drone with the crosshairs. R2 to spot. Examine. Okay. okay. Oh, there's no one there now. Oh, boo. I thought it was going to be some sort of like, office romance. Wait, I heard, I heard the cat. Hmm. 
Oh, there, 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 there. There you are. Suspicious. Oh, a cat. Yeah. Oh, there. Is there only a height limit? Yeah. Uh -huh. Vibrating for? What are you vibrating for? Hey, what the? A fancy room. Great, fantastic. This is what I was really wanting. Oh, oh, is it safe? Suspicious. That's not him, though. Don't these guys have anything better to do? <laughs> hold That's up, him hold there. Up. That's him. He's your lieutenant, alright. We're gonna come get you, mate. Oh look, an inconvenient Shit. window. Went inside. I assume it's going to a fancy room. Oh no, is it gone downstairs? Suspicious. Maybe he went to the roof? There he is. So he went to the fancy room. Hey, there he is. Well fucking done, man. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's go and kick the shit out of him. I mean, let's go and talk to him. Guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What do you think? How'd you not see a drone outside the window? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one. I could try scaling the side of the building, then climbing in through an open window. Do you even know how to scale a building? We're Besides, about to people find see out. you doing it. Not to mention the bloodbath if someone spotted you. I guess so, yeah. Let's kill that idea then. You got a plan B? Disguise? Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who has? I was thinking pizza delivery. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? <laughs> right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still, you can't show up and expect them to just let you stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? No, we break it. I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Oh, Who that are you? So basic. Where'd you bury Tok's body? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. So before we do that, I'm going to end the episode there. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's so good. I really like this game. <laughs> it, it kind of makes me want to play, um, 
Oh. Phoenix, right. Because I have that. I should have it on my PS4. I'm sure I downloaded the digital copy. And I also got Dom Pomerango as well, but I don't know if I'd ever played that. Or sh record it, I should say, that I was not play it. But yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do Phoenix right after this. Or I'll add it to the list. Because I need to do Resident Evil as well. Because, oh my God, so many games to do to record. Now I've got so much other side stuff to do as well. Oh, but that's life. <laughs> so yeah. I can subscribe keep up to date with the videos. Till the next episode of Judgment, where we will disguise as a repairman. I'm sure that go well. Till then, latest. <laughs>